Canada may well have been unaware of the military SAR satellite experiment during the 1960s. But the civilian development of the CSAT radar mission in the United States during the late 1970s certainly attracted Canadian attention. In particular, Canada was interested to contribute to the reception and readout of CSAT SAR data over Canada and in the development of novel SAR image processing methods. Government funded initiatives and cooperation with the private sector succeeded in accomplishing both. During the short CSAT mission, many of the 100 kilometer wide imaging swaths were acquired over Canada, instigating much research activity. A team at McDonald Detweiler and Associates in Vancouver produced the first digitally processed SAR image, a milestone event to this day. The actual image shows the St. Lawrence River and Trois-Rivières in Quebec. During the early 1970s, the newly formed Canada Centre for Remote Sensing had already initiated a fruitful cooperation with the US government concerning the reception, processing and utilization of Landsat satellite imagery. Dr. Larry Morley had a key role in this development. Moreover, the Canadian government commissioned a three-year concept study to assess the value of a radar-equipped purely civilian surveillance satellite. Under the SURSAT project, Canadian researchers conducted more than 60 experiments across the country. Their work was based on airborne SAR data collections for a whole variety of potential applications. Ice reconnaissance, geology, agriculture, forestry and hydrology ranked high among them. Several studies used airborne SAR underflights conducted at the same time as CSAT overpasses to validate the spaceborne SAR data. Here are some examples of these coordinated research efforts. The detailed 1978 aircraft SAR image of Halifax and the long CSAT SAR image strip over the Canadian Maritimes. In a way, modern SAR technology had come ashore here again, almost four decades after the arrival of the historic Tassarid mission. Yet, during the 1980s, Canada was still ways away from launching its own radar satellite mission. Progress came incrementally and in various forms during that decade. In retrospect, Canada established a legacy of excellence, making government science work for the country and indeed the world. Valuable lessons were learned then, step by step. Many are still applicable now, as the protagonists, led by Editor-in-Chief Dr. Bob Ryerson, will tell you in their recent history of the Canada Centre for Remote Sensing. The first step was the establishment of a Crown project and formation of a RadarSat project office to prepare a phased plan. Research teams pursued an ambitious agenda to identify and meet user requirements. Scientists developed and operated an advanced and versatile airborne SAR for a host of experiments in Canada and overseas. Over time, Project managers and administrators sought out opportunities for interdepartmental work under a multi-year radar data development program. Following the establishment of the Canadian Space Agency in the late 1980s, they continued to foster international cooperation and reached agreements to eventually launch the first RadarSat satellite in 1995. 